No, I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you mean, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Uh, well, now the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh, uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like a uh, third. Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. And there's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> uh, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see it. Ha! See? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Here we go. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Oh. Okay, so where to next? Hey, but we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. <clears throat> okay. Come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. Shh, hold up. Per modo di dire, respira attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lista. Ehi, hai scommesso sulla partita? Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra? Traditore. Ehi, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Should have brought guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly, we won't need him. I hope you're right. Ah, all those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Look, there's that window. I right, nearly there. That should hold. Come on down. <clears throat> Oof. Ah. <laughs> These landings are a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I can show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <clears throat> Shit! You okay up there? 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. It'd suck if you missed right now. It sure would. But I don't miss. There you go. Thanks. Uh, Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. Well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. <laughs> but there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see <laughs> us making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. Yeah, that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. Mm. Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Don't you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything, uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. You gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go and see. Really? Ah, are you kidding me? Hell no. I refuse to do what are you doing? I just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We pulled off tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah.
You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I could have Cellar's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. So out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? Did you catch all that? Yes, I did. So Nadine Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. Ready? <sighs> yeah, let's do it. I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. I'll lure one out of the kitchen, probably. And let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. Who's this? This gate wasn't on the blueprint. <clears throat> Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you, it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. Some 
fence up there. Nathan, go check this out. Here we go. Let there be light. I'd like to go in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... F yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Hey, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. Hey, uh, she'll be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Uh, this way. Hey, look yeah, the fence. I got it's it. It's our way out. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Holding the lighter. Okay, up we go. All right, there. Yeah, that's smaller than it looked, huh? <coughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Cosa portiamo quello di Oh, he looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. <laughs> Crap. Back this way. Okay. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. You see that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? What? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. There you go. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sarah. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? Right. So he waits to put a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, when in Rome. 
Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> I recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh, no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you? Great. How long has it been? 10 years? 12? 15. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this.
God, why did I pick the power room? altri fusibili del cazzo stasera direi che per stasera può bastare ma che diavolo pronto here we go now where the hell are the circuit breakers ah crap Sam Sully you there god damn it kid where the hell have you been I made it a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power now, it'd be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Oh, screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. And for a penny and for a pound. That Don't worry. You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now the bridge has reached 130,000. Nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Your bid, Signore, takes us all the way to 150,000. Gotta be something. Come on. Hey, man, uh, starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah. Give me a sec. Everything stands at 160,000 euros in the room. Signore's bid makes 170,000. Yes. We are now at 180,000 euros in the room. <laughs> gotcha. We have now reached 190,000. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak Spanish. Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security's scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. vicino alla torre he 
These guys are everywhere. Okay, maybe we should have brought guns. Non ce la faranno. Li troveremo e li riempiremo di buchi. Ma sappiamo. Un attimo. How we doing, Nathan? I'm on my way. Heading to higher ground to get my bearings. All right, see you soon. Yeah. Prima o poi ti troverò. Here's the ballroom. Driveway's right in front. <clears throat> okay. Everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. I'm just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Oh. Scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what. I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? All right, fine. <clears throat> Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. Come on, Nathan Drake. Oh, I see my <clears throat> reputation precedes me. <clears throat> Don't telegraph so much. <clears throat> Nice try. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Do you know how many artifacts I've collected over the years? You're gonna need to be more specific. Let me see if I can clarify. I look. I'm still a little jet light. How about we just call it even? Oh, son of a... Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart ass? You know, you're breaking a lot of expensive stuff in here. If you're not careful, they're gonna kick us out of here. It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there! Alright, I'm at the car. Where the hell are you guys? Uh, just met your friend, Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. Trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. Nice shooting! 
You all right? Yeah, hanging in there. <laughs> I can't get to you from here. You got a way down? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll meet you at the driveway. Just head towards the ballroom. All right, see you there. Almost to the ballroom. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. I can use a hand. On my way, Sam. That you. Also, get up my gold up. I think I'm done with this auction, huh? Oh, yeah. Me too. Shut Too many up. people trying to leave. The driveway's all jammed up. Shit, what's our backup? There's that fountain just outside the ballroom. I'll meet you there. Got it. Let's go.
I hope I don't go to hell for this. Shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. All right, skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Hodie mecum eris in paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, you, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but that means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise, which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. Ray's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. But come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Oh, Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look, with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and I can I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey, hey, it's me. Yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy, all those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you, but it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth, right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Well, Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are going to have that graveyard all to ourselves. <sighs> Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kid. Happy hunting. Last chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right. See you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah? Just, uh... Ah, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh?
Scottish Cathedral. Strange place to bury your treasure, no? Not really. I mean, by the time Avery would have sailed here, the place was already abandoned. I guess that's true. Plus, with the massive bounty on his head, it'd be a good place to hide. <laughs>